God seeks those who fear him. We can have any uh, posture before the Lord um, and God still, you know, God is a God of love and he accepts us. But uh, scriptures teach us that God prefers those who fear him. God um, seeks them out. God tries to find them in the crowd because he is looking at, at the hearts of men and women. You know, uh, we know that uh, man looks at the face, but God looks at the heart and God is looking for us to position ourselves uh, in a place where, where our life becomes an offering to him and we approach him with awe and reverence. And God uh, is looking for such men and women. God is looking for such men and women who have have the fear of the Lord, who have reverence toward God, who have great honor toward God in their relationship with Him. Now, here are a couple of uh, scriptures about those who fear God. Um, Deuteronomy chapter 10 and verse 12. And now Israel, what does the Lord your God require of you? But to fear the Lord your God, to walk in all His ways and to love Him, to serve the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul. And so uh, God is, is making it plain that this is a requirement. I want you to love me, my people. I want you to love me but I also want you to honor me or have reverence and awe toward me and to have the fear of the Lord in everything that you do and so God is looking for this attitude uh, in the life of every single person Acts chapter 10 and verse 35 but in every nation whoever fears him and works righteousness is accepted by him so God is seeking out people who have uh, this, this special, um, you know, what can I say, this special honor towards him, who know him for who he is. You now we can truly understand God for who he is uh, only if we approach him uh, with this kind of an attitude of, of reverence. Uh, and, and so, uh, you know, may, may our lives be lives that um, have uh, this heart attitude towards the Lord uh, to live in the fear of God but to also serve the Lord uh, with fear Joshua 24 14 says now therefore fear the Lord serve him in sincerity and in truth and put away the gods which your father served on the other side of the river and in Egypt serve the Lord so uh, Joshua is teaching the people how to serve God uh, I know that many of us love God and, and we want to serve him um, we, we have committed our lives to the Lord how do we do that uh, in the best manner possible we need to have the attitude of reverence toward God uh, and when we have reverence toward God I believe all the other things which are required you know sincerity hard work walking in truth all of this will just flow along uh, because we we are coming from a place of understanding who God is um, and, and his powerful and his mighty nature uh, and, and so this day uh, as God seeks people who fear Him, uh, I pray that He will find you and me uh, in, in this generation who are set apart for the Lord, uh, seeking Him with awe, with reverence, with honor uh, in, in everything that we have to do and, and may our life itself uh, be a worship unto Him. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we thank you that God, you, you seek out those who fear you, O oh God. Father, uh, these are the people who please you. And Father, today we ask that each one of us will be uh, those men and women, O oh God. Lord, I pray that we will be, uh, Lord, uh, distinct, Father God, in, in, in the way we, we behave, Father. And we pray, God, that, that Lord, we will be salt and light. And, and God, that all of that, Father, will come from, from this new nature, God, that, that you've imparted to us through Christ Jesus. Lord, yes, so oh Father, clothe us, Lord. Clothe us with your Holy Spirit and enable us, O God, to shine the, the truth of, of the Lord Jesus. Enable us to shine, O God, the righteousness of the Lord Jesus. And Father God, may, may we indeed, God, honor you in all things. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.